what is up you guys it's andrea and i am back again with another vlog you guys i am excited because i am vlogging again today you guys know i actually kind of enjoy vlogging um a lot more now than i once did i think i used to have the mindset well like i barely do anything so i don't know if you guys would even be interested in that type of stuff don't have entirely too much planned today um my self-care day as you guys know i like to do will actually be tomorrow and i figured you guys have kind of already seen that um within the past couple weeks or so so today i'm just gonna vlog like a normal literally day in the life don't necessarily have anything planned but have stuff planned uh type of day for me so um for those of you who are not following me on instagram which i think you should be here it is down below um but for those of you who are not following me on instagram um just to give you guys like a quick update i have been um working working on my i guess you could say health and physical um the physical parts of my and so i have been running a mile every day like for the past i would say going on maybe like the past six six to seven days or so um i've been getting out going around a mile um obviously like i haven't ran in a super long time i hate running i hate cardio anybody who knows me knows i absolutely dread cardio so um it's something that i'm trying to find the beauty in something that i'm trying to love and then just working on my overall health in general i think um is amazing to do so that's why i'm kind of focusing on that right now so i'm saying all that to say um Today is actually day one of my um, smoothie cleanse that I'm going to do. So there's this pretty well-known uh, smoothie cleanse that's going around. It's a 10-day smoothie cleanse by JJ Smith. Um, and it has tons and tons of benefits of it. Um, if any of you guys are interested, once all this is said and done, I will be more than happy to send you the PDF form of the book. Um, but anyways, um, so I'm, I'm starting that today as well as um, I'm going to start a workout plan, kind of like a HIIT workout. And not because I want to lose weight because you guys know I kind of went through that journey where I was losing a lot of weight. Um, I'm more in the aspect now of where like I kind of gained it all back, but it's just time to kind of like, I don't know. I just feel like my overall health and my stamina and my endurance is not the greatest so i feel like you know incorporating these runs and incorporating these workouts um will be good for me in the end again not to necessarily lose weight um i know with doing this detox i will possibly potentially lose like a few pounds but i mean that's normal because i'm getting rid of all the toxins so um as long as i don't lose anything drastically i will be okay with the book like in the beginning it has stuff about like specific questions like specific questions basically indicating whether or not you should do the cleanse and to quite a few of those questions i was like check 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 um so yeah i just think this this will be super beneficial now i think it will be hard because i'm not eating anything like i'm not eating what i'm used to honestly i feel like i've been eating out a lot and that kind of plays a toll in me wanting to do this cleanse as well um what was i saying so yeah i won't be necessarily eating anything there is a modified version where you can do like two smoothies and a, a light dinner which i may end up doing that but that's not how i'm gonna start off um and I'm, i think i'm only gonna do it for seven days too i'm gonna see uh but anyway so you you eat or you drink three smoothies a day and then there's like specific snacks that you can have in between like unsalted peanuts um what else boiled eggs and like a couple other things nothing too major so i think the first few days are going to be hard or kind of difficult um i feel like i'm going to start to crave things but from my research i think after like day four all those cravings start to go away you start to feel better um and then you start to see the benefits of it so saying all that to say that is one of the errands that we will be running today i'm going to go to target I'm gonna go to Target and I need to get a few things, um, actually quite a few things to jumpstart this kick. Um, for one, I need to pick up some like five or ten pounders for the workouts and then uh, what else? I want to see if I can find like a mat to kind of work out on because I think I'm gonna do my workouts on my patio or my balcony. So I need to find a mat for that. And then there's just other things like I need to obviously go to the grocery store and pick up all these um, ingredients that I will need for the smoothies. I need to pick up a blender. Um, so yeah, there's a, a few things that I need to pick up. I want to take you guys along. Other than that, I don't have too much planned. I do have like a meeting kind of type thing over the phone at 3. Uh, and I think it's about 3, 1 o'clock now. So I want to hurry up, run to the store, get what I need to get. Hurry up, come home, work out, shower, hopefully be all that before 3 o'clock. And then 
I don't know, find something to do after the three or after that. So, all that to say, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Subscribe if you aren't already, and let's get into the day. Let me give y'all an update. If y'all watched last week's vlog, you know that I became a plant mom. So let me give you an update on my babies. <laughs> this is baby Yoda, for those of you who don't know. And this is Sweetie with three E's like Sweet Yellow. But anyways, they are looking pretty good. And baby Yoda is growing. So guys, he didn't have like, on the backlight is not good. But he did not have, let's not put that on the bed. This little side this little side thing he got going on right here. So I think he is growing. And then there's like a smaller one right there. So I'm excited to see, cause I don't know if he's gonna get taller, if he's gonna get wider. Like I don't know exactly how he's gonna grow out, but I must be doing something right if he's uh, getting that little, little side piece thing going on right there. And then Sweetie, she's looking pretty good, I think. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't have any like dead pieces going on so i think that's that's good um i've been watering them giving them their sunlight that they need so but she's still leaning and we noticed that well i noticed that in the last vlog that she was kind of leaning but i kind of did some research research and it said that like they i guess they kind of grow like that and i could put like a stake in between you know one of those little pieces down in the soil so then that way she would like grow around it but I don't know she looks good they both look good so week one we're good they're alive we're making it happen okay y'all and then as far as the workouts that I'll be doing so I did this actually before I started vlogging um this is the actual workout but I didn't start on Monday and so in order for me to process exactly what I was doing I had to rewrite it like starting off today on thursday and then go from there but it's basically starting off from monday on here if that makes sense so my day one week one is this monday day one week one but i just needed it to make sense because i wouldn't be able to keep up with this so those are the workouts i have that done um this is some of the information well a lot of the information the notes that i took from the book um, so I think this is going to definitely help me over the next five to seven, ten days, however, however long I do this for. This is going to be super helpful. It's basically what I can and cannot eat. Um, just some tips and advice. And then I should be taking measurements and before and after photos. And then my Amazon package that I just got this morning. Thank the Lord that it actually came. Um, it's kind of going to be hard to do with one hand. But this is something that's also going to be helpful during my, um, oh my gosh, how can I do this in one hand? <laughs> during my cleanse, because it's really actually super important to make sure that you're drinking a lot of water during this cleanse, because obviously you wanna get rid of the toxins out of your body, and how do we do that? We go to the bathroom. So, hold on. Okay, okay that was kinda hard, but I got it. <laughs> So this is what I ended up getting because I actually, with the smoothie, I have to drink 64 ounces of water a day. I am so terrible at drinking water. So I hope this turns out well. Let me show you guys. So guys, it's basically a very large motivational water bottle. And I hope it's gonna help me on this journey over the next few days. I think it's super freaking cute and it's one gallon. And so basically it has all of this, um, all these motivational things on here. Like basically just to keep up with how much you should be drinking starting at 7 a.m. But obviously since I work nights, we're gonna have to flip this around a little bit. But 64 ounces is basically what I have to drink. Well, that's only 64, 64 a day. It's like half, at least half of this a day, I should be good, but. I mean, I think it, it is good to drink at least a gallon of water a day, but I don't know, we'll see. I think this is gonna be a little difficult, but we're gonna make it happen. Um, but I think this is so freaking cute. Like, I love this. Okay, I'm gonna end up putting water in this here soon. I think I may drop some lemon and stuff in it, I don't know. But okay, let me put on some clothes real quick so we can head to the store, pick up what we need, and yeah, I call that a day. Okay, y'all, so I just made a super quick short list. Um, you guys know I enjoy, thoroughly enjoy having a list before I go into the store, just so I know what I need to grab. 
Um, so basically just real quick what the goal is here. I want to pick up some weights, some super small weights, just kind of, you know, to help me with my arms. A mat, I don't know why it says mats, but a mat, um, the Yogi Detox Tea, because I have to drink detox tea every day as well as drinking the smoothies. The blender, of course, like the vegetables and fruit that I have to pick up, which in the book it says exactly what to grab, how much, how many. So I'm good with that. I'll just actually refer back to the book when I'm at that part. And then just some healthy snacks. The book recommends, um, I think it's unsweetened peanut butter, cucumbers. Um, I'm going to grab tuna because um, I do want to like snack on that. Obviously, it's not nothing heavy, but like the book says that you can um, have that as a snack. So I'm definitely going to pick that up. Some vegan mayo for the tuna. I may or may not need mayo, but... I mean, sometimes, I remember when I was younger, I used to eat mayonnaise, I mean, not mayonnaise, I used to eat tuna, like, straight out the pack. So, I mean, I may not even need the mayo to spice it up, but we'll see. And then, I think it has to be unsalted nuts. And then, I mean, I know pistachio is a nut, but I just kind of put that so I, I know for sure that I want to get pistachios. Um, and then, non-dairy plant-based protein powder to put into the smoothie, so that way I can feel fuller, longer. And then, I think that is sativa, sativa. It's a type of sugar that you are allowed to put in the smoothies. And then MAG-07 for my bowels. Because like I said, obviously guys, like I'm going to have to make sure that I'm going to the bathroom regularly. So that is one of the um, things that was definitely recommended in the book. So I'm going to pick that up. And then to put in the smoothies, it needs to be spring purified or alkaline water. So definitely have to pick that up as well. Okay, now that the list is done, we really can go to the store now. All right, y'all, the first store that we're gonna go to, I don't know if y'all can see it from here, let's, 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 let's show the zoom, let's, let's do the zoom. The first store is going to be Target. We just gotta get over there now. So the goal here, I, I do not <laughs> want to get produce or anything from Target. Um, the main thing is like the weights I think they said, like in, in um, some of the videos that I watched, that it's um, the detox tea that I'm getting you guys, I showed you guys earlier, the detox tea that I'm gonna get, um, I can pick it up from here at Target. So I'm gonna try to pick that up, pick the mat up. I don't know if Target has protein powders. I don't know if this is the right place. I actually may go to like a vitamin, actual, actual like nutritional type store for that. So I'm getting like a good one. But yeah, none of the foods or anything. Um, I'm, mm, I don't know, maybe I can pick the nuts and stuff up from here, but obviously just like none of the produce. And don't be like me, don't cut through parking lots. You're not supposed to do that. But <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's park this Chally Challenger. Somebody asked me a question in my last video, because I, I guess you guys do see me in my car a lot, what kind of car that I have, and it's a, um, a Dodge Challenger so that's why like I often call my car Chally because that is the name and that is what we go by and yeah it's just short for for a long name
Okay, I am leaving Target. Um, I really wish I had a freaking car stand for this, uh, excuse me, for this camera. But anyhow, so guys, I just wanted to update y'all. Target is so expensive for no reason. I realized like I started picking up stuff and I was like, uh-uh. Like I'm fixing to be paying like an arm and a leg for this, you know, when I could be getting it cheaper elsewhere, like H-E-B and stuff like that. But all in all, I did get a large chunk of um, the products that I needed. Basically, like the main thing now that I need is to just uh, pick up like the fruits and the vegetables. Like I ended up getting, you know, some of the snack items that I need. I didn't grab a mat um, because it was like $30 and I was like, absolutely not. So if anything, I may just kind of like suck it up for the first couple of days and then like maybe order a mat off Amazon. I know it'll be much cheaper. So I didn't get the mat, but I got the weights and all that. I got the blender. Um, I'll show you all that when I get to the house. But the thing is, so I don't know if I said it earlier, but I have a like meeting type thing over the phone at three and right now it's 2.18. So I need to like hurry up. I wanna be back at the house because I need to be like taking notes while I'm um, on this phone call. So I'm gonna hurry up, seriously run as quick as I can inside HEB and then hurry up and try to get back to the house. I don't know if I wanna make it in time, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna see. Whew. All right, let's go to H-E-B. Hey y'all, I'm not gonna take the camera in because I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I'm gonna move with the quickness. So I kinda realized at this point, I'm not gonna make it back to the house by three. So as long as I'm out of here by three o'clock, I'll just try to take notes and stuff on my phone with this um, conversation I'm gonna have at three. So basically this is the list that is in the book. Where is it at? Um, for the first five days. So you break your shopping up in increments. Um, so this is for the first five days and then that's for the last five days because it is supposed to be for a total of 10 days. But like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna take it for that long or do it for that long. So this is all that I'm going in there to get now. Again, this is gonna be super quick. I'm gonna be in and out. And then yeah, I will update you guys when I get out. Y'all, I freaking, I don't think I have ever moved so quickly in a store. Like, it's literally 2.55 right now. And this is a super, super important, like, phone call that I'm about to have. So, I had to make sure, like, I am out here by 3. So, I wasn't able to pick up a few things. Um, I wasn't able, and it's not because I, like, didn't see it or I was in a rush. It's just because I didn't have it, or at least I didn't, I guess you could say I didn't come across it. Um, it is a bag of ground flax seeds, which it said that it would be in the vitamin section, but I like went down that thing three times and didn't see it. So I don't have that. And then the detox tea, like I saw they had detox teas in there, but I want to specifically grab the one that the book is saying to get, which is by Yogi, Triple Life or Yogi Brands. And the one in there was like green side or something was the brand. So I didn't pick that up. And then... I don't know, I think I have, I have sea salt at the house, so I'm not gonna get that. But I also, I don't know if this is allowed, but I wanted to get tahine for like my cucumbers, but I don't know if I can do that. But the thing is like, I don't know, I feel like I can, I'm gonna see. But um, I have to get those few things and I'm just gonna go to Walmart, hopefully Walmart has it. And it's like literally right next door. I'm just kind of worried because I have this like frozen fruit, bags of fruit in my car that I hope they don't like get too unfrozen i guess you could say um but like i said it's 257 the walmart is like right across the street so i think i'm gonna drive over there super quick talk on the phone run inside and get, then get back to the house like as soon as possible oh also too i cannot find for the life of me mag 07 i think for that i'm gonna have to actually go into a vitamin store and I, I may do that tomorrow or I, I don't know I may see if like if my bowels are not moving this might be TMI but if I feel like my bowels aren't moving properly as they should be then um maybe I'll go get Mago 7 because I think it's expensive but I don't know um I'm drinking my water I have my water with me here I think I've made a little bit of progress um but yeah I'm just gonna wait for this phone call go on Walmart and then go back to the house. I cannot wait to take my braids out because girl, it's time. But anyways, I know that was random. But y'all, I'm hot. I'm sure y'all can tell. So I'm gonna cool off and go over to Walmart. Let's go. Okay, so let me go ahead and update y'all. I'm back at the house. It is now 439.
I cannot even think, I can't even believe that earlier I was like, oh, I'm gonna get this done, this done, this done, all by three o'clock. It's about to be five o'clock. So, with that being said, oh my gosh, my arm. With that being said, you guys, I have made the decision not to start the smoothie cleanse today. This is why. I'm not starting today because honestly, the way that it's set up in the book, you're really supposed to be drinking three smoothies a day, starting in the morning, at lunch, and then at dinner and snacking throughout in between. I have missed lunch, I have missed breakfast, I have missed all the snacks. So logically, I just do not think that it's smart to just have one smoothie for the day, maybe possibly snack for a little bit and then go to bed. I just don't think that's starting off on the right foot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start tomorrow morning. Um, so I'm gonna eat, <laughs> I'm gonna eat good food tonight and then just be prepared to just start tomorrow. And like I said, I've been thinking about this as well. I'm not even gonna put a set number on the number of days that I wanna do this. I'm gonna go for as long as um, my body allows me to. If I feel like my body is in a position where it cannot do this anymore for whatever reason, I'm stopping. Um, but I at least wanna make it to five days. That's the goal for sure. So anywhere between five to 10 days, um, I don't know, I'll see. But, um, so that's that's the new thing. Not starting today, I'm gonna start tomorrow. So this is everything that I just got from the store, um, including like the blender and all the fruits and veggies and all that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make the protein bag. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna go ahead, wash this all up, you know, split it into each protein, um, not each protein, each smoothie that I'm, that I'm gonna have to make. I'm gonna put it into a Ziploc bag and then freeze it. So when that day comes, all that I have to do, I don't have to prepare anything. Um, all I'm gonna have to do is just pull the bag out the freezer and go ahead and throw it in the blender. I feel like that's gonna save me time. And also it's going to lessen the chances of me just grabbing a quick snack versus, you know, having to prepare the whole smoothie together. It's just gonna be ready for me so I can just throw it in the blender. So yeah, let me pull all this out um, and then show you guys what I got. Also two, um, this is the mat. I don't know, no, I didn't update you guys. So like I said, I ended up going into Walmart and I should have known, I should have started at Walmart to begin with. This is the, the workout mat that I'm gonna use. So I'm super excited about that. I'm still gonna work out today. That's a fact. Actually, after I get all this stuff uh, put up, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna work out, shower, and then eat and relax for the rest of the night. But I'm um, still gonna work out. That's the mat that I got. And then I was able to get the flax seed and um, the detox tea. But I'll show you guys that in just a second. Let me just pull all this stuff out. All right, so real quick, I'm going to do an overview of the few things, well not few, but <laughs> the things that I picked up from the store. So this is the freaking detox tea that I was searching all over for. I finally found it in Walmart. And then the flax seed. I imagine this is, you know, gonna make the smoothie a smoothie, I guess you could say. I don't know, child. <laughs> um, some oranges, cause she said, well the book, she is the author, but she said that you can snack on oranges and vegetables, well not oranges, but fruits and vegetables um, throughout your time. So I picked up some oranges. This is the protein that I picked up. And I am really hoping, the fact that this says vanilla, I'm just hoping that it doesn't affect the taste too much. I looked on the back of here and homegirls have some greens in here already so i feel like this is going to be even more beneficial so and there's a little green smoothie right there so hopefully it doesn't mess up the taste too much like i said but we'll see but um yeah that's the protein powder that i'm gonna add in the smoothie this is this is why i need to move fast this is all like the um frozen fruit that i'm going to be incorporating in the smoothies all right there the sativa, which is the sugar. And also right here, honestly guys, I don't even know if I can do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, I'm gonna put lemon in my water because that just helps me drink water more, I guess you could say. So I got lemon, apples, because this is a part of the smoothie, but I'm also gonna be snacking on them. Some unsalted cashews, lightly salted pistachios, some um, vegetables to snack on, which is carrots and broccoli. I got two bags of that. Here's the tuna. Uh, different cans of, well not different, but multiple cans of tuna in water. And then um, I watched this video where this girl was saying that cashew dip um, is good to dip your vegetables in because we can't eat ranch because I think that's a lot of fat. So this cashew dip is supposed to be good. So I got that for my vegetables as a substitute. And then this cashew creamy, 
creamy butter, creamy cashew butter, which is basically um, supposed to be like my peanut butter, but it's not sweetened, so that should be interesting. And then I found the vegan mayonnaise for my tuna, if I wanna put that in there. Um, this is kale, this is grapes, cucumbers, bananas, celery, and then the baby spring mix that I need, the baby spinach that I need. And then I also, yes, I'm already snacking because I need something on my stomach before I work out. But anyways, um, I went ahead and picked these up. I think I showed you guys earlier in the vlog. But this is just so like when I go to work and stuff, or even now if I want to prepare like some snack trays, I can go ahead and add them in these meal prep containers, which I think is super, super beneficial. It actually has like a little opening off to the side there so I can kind of separate them. And then these are the containers um, that I'm gonna put the smoothies in. I originally was going to put them in mason jars, but I think this is gonna be, this is gonna be okay. I just need to figure out how I'm going to do my smoothies at work. I think I'll cross that bridge when I get there, but these are gonna be the cups that I'm drinking them out of. All right, I am going to separate them all into bags. All right, I just wanted to show y'all super fast. So I just put these little veggie bowls together. Basically, um, the, the broccoli and the carrots, they came together in a bag, but I wanted to go ahead and split them up out evenly. So it's broccoli, carrots, cucumbers, and celery. So those are done. And basically what I did with everything that I'm gonna be using for the next five or so days i left it out on my counter just so that way i don't even have to be tempted by opening my cabinet up so hopefully this will last me a few days i mean i'm sure it will um i'm just still just thinking about this whole work situation um and how i'm gonna i guess eat while i'm while i'm there but for now like i said everything is out on the counter. Well, I guess I'm really not even gonna be eating, so I don't know what I'm worried about. Um, I'm just gonna leave, like I said, all this out on the counter, and then I'm doing the detox like straight first thing in the morning. That's supposed to be like an everyday type thing. And then I'll open this tomorrow when it's time. And then as far as the smoothies, they're all separated into their own bags. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, this was a complete disaster at first. I was doing it so wrong. Like I was splitting it up by smoothie by smoothie. Like three smoothies per day, I was putting a day of ingredients in one smoothie. So it was so bad and it took me forever, literally like an hour just to get all this stuff done. But those are the five days, they're ready to go. So literally all I have to do now is just blend it all together first thing in the morning and then split them up and then basically keep what I'm not drinking at the moment cold. So those are ready to go. So I'm gonna put the lids on these, um, put them in the refrigerator, wash my dishes, change into my clothes, work out, shower, eat, and relax. This is, this was quite the task. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. But okay, let me put these up. Ooh, okay, we love to see it. <laughs> A nice clean kitchen. That kind of bothers me over there. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. But it is what it is, except the fact of what it is and just keep pushing. So. Let me tell y'all something. Let me let me tell you what plan I just came up with. So let's go to our little ledge, our little normal talking point. Um, guys, I have decided. Ooh, okay. Let me sit down. I, that literally took me like an hour and a half. But I have decided that. Look at me changing plans. It is what it is. Okay, I have decided to go ahead and hold off on working, working out until tomorrow this is why so for one like i told you guys earlier i'm not gonna start the cleanse until tomorrow so tonight i'm eating i already got it in my head like i'm eating spicy boiled shrimp i'm gonna get some pickle what is it called fried pickles like i'm gonna be eating pretty trashy so not to say that it would be a waste to work out but i would like to see my um progress with starting everything on the same day um I very well could have started today. The plan was to start today, I guess you could say. But at the same time, I woke up late because last night was my on-call night, so I technically was up for majority of the night. So I stayed up pretty late, woke up pretty late. So that just kind of ruined things altogether because like I said earlier, I missed pretty much half the day as far as like drinking the smoothies that I need to drink. Um, so honestly, it wouldn't have made any sense to start today. 
So logically for me, and because I wanna be able to track everything together, it just makes sense for me to hold off on the workout till tomorrow. And tomorrow on the workout plan is actually like a rest day. So I'm like, eh, okay, I'm gonna use today as my rest day because I actually ran a mile yesterday. I'll use today as my rest day and I will start everything back up and get the ball rolling tomorrow. Not gonna lie to y'all, it feels kind of weird just because I have been pretty consistent with going out to run. Um, it feels kind of weird not doing anything, but um, I don't know, it just makes sense to me, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so, um, everything is basically ready for me to start stuff tomorrow. Um, I hope this vlog is not too much focused on the whole I don't know cleansing thing but to be honest guys this is just what my day consisted of prepping for the next few days and what I'm you know fixing to be going through um so yeah enough of that well I'll deal with that tomorrow but it's time to order some food so excited okay so I absolutely love this place for those of you honestly I don't know if it's anywhere else I obviously it's in Houston but um, this place is so good they have if you're in Houston they have several locations um, they have one closer in to Houston and then they have a few on the outskirts of Houston so this is what I'm gonna do it's a Tex Orleans place um, I don't think I can order online and honestly I don't want to order online um, oh no wrong location where am I going okay um, I I guess I can order online, but I'd rather call it in. Let me see. I've never done never done it like this before. Order in or ready in 20 to 25 minutes. I guess I could. Okay. Um Hold on, y'all, cuz I got to I got to I know for a fact. Let's see where it's at. It's a spicy a, a spicy shrimp, spicy boiled shrimp. 1 pound of hot Peeling hot shrimp. Yeah, I think this is it. And then I think that the Tex Orleans way is like if you want like the actual sauce in the Louisiana way is like super dry. No, thank you. But yeah, let me order this. Let me figure out, make sure I'm getting exactly what I want. <laughs> um, and I will update y'all when I go to pick it up. Y'all, I'm here. Let's see. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. Well, I'm so annoyed right now, and I think honestly it's because I'm just trying to do too much at one time. Tell me why I pick up this food, right? I'm driving home, driving home, like why is the smell of the shrimp so loud? Like it's contained, so I shouldn't smell it as strong as, you know, as strong as I do. I turn on the light in my car, the shrimp is all over my floorboard. <laughs> so I'm so like, I'm trying to, Think positive be great it's okay it's just shrimp it could be a lot worse it really could be a lot worse so now i'm back at the restaurant i'm back here and i'm having to basically get another order because according to them it's my fault but i just think maybe it wasn't closed good enough because like the other so it was like it's like in a little cardboard box and the other like i got um fried pickles they didn't open up so i just feel like it was too full. But I'm gonna run in here. I'm gonna throw these shrimp, away, shrimp away and I'm gonna get my new shrimp. And then honestly guys, it's raining. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna get in the bed and just prepare for what's about to come the next few days. Um, so really there's not too much to vlog, but I just had to tell you guys what the heck just happened to me. But you know, make, make a lot of negative situations and try to turn it into a positive. I mean, it could have been a whole heck of a lot worse like something else tragic could have happened it's just shrimp now i'm probably gonna have to go get my car clean tomorrow but it is what it is but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog hopefully it wasn't too like all over the place and too i don't know not amusing for you guys hopefully you guys liked it give me a thumbs up if you did or give the video a thumbs up if you did um and if you guys want to see any other videos aside from just vlogs definitely let me know down below in the comments um that is pretty much it for this video you guys and i will see y'all in the next one